Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy, Spooky Noodles. I am back with another book mail video. Um, these are going to be start starting to slow down a little bit. I noticed I bought a lot of books during December. Um, and I'm not happy with myself, honestly. Um, I did not want to buy all those books. Well, I did want to buy all those books, but you know what I mean. I didn't want to purchase, I didn't want to spend money is my thing you know but i saw books i wanted so i went out and got them when i was very stressed out so you know but that's besides the point um i do have some signed books here and i'm gonna show them off so without further ado let's just do it so the first one is horrors versus sex robots and it's also other sordid tales of erotic automations 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 so this one's a collection, so I'm not really going to read the back, but there's a few stories in here. It's a collection and it comes with some stuff. So I'm going to read, like read some of the, or uh, look at the stickers later or not. Nah, I guess not. There's, um, oh, <laughs> there's some stickers from Ash Eric Moore. And I also got a Candace Nola sticker. So that's cool. Um, um, dogs in Japan bark in the opposite direction while cats meow in the same direction. Huh? Okay. <laughs> So that's this book. <laughs> Sorry if I went silent for a second there. Next is another. Oh, this is by Peter Mc, Peter Caffrey, by the way. Here's another Peter Caffrey book. Ooh. Uh oh. My laptop's going crazy. Because my phone is clicking buttons. All right. So this is The God of Wanking by Peter Caffrey. Let's read the back. After accidentally reviving a dormant demon, Diego is offered a deal of a lifetime. He can have his way with any woman he wishes, fulfilling his carnal desires. All he has to do is, in return is provide a regular supply of sperm. Like most schoolboys, he's in the habit of regular wanking. So he figures he has nothing to lose by agreeing to the pact. Once the demon takes control, he manipulates the situation, leaving Diego trapped in a waking or even wanking nightmare. The daily duty becomes a milestone, dragging him down into an abyss of masturbatory misery. Why does the demon want his semen? And has it anything to do with the numerous elderly women who are failing, falling pregnant? and giving birth to devil babies with unfeasibly large, uh, I won't say that word, <laughs> penises. With the clergy and their m militia hunting down the source of the impregnations, Diego finds himself a victim of the chaos. As his world crumbles around him, he, his only hope is to free himself from the pact. There's that book. And these are all signed, by the way, I believe. Or maybe not. They're not signed, actually. My bad. I thought they were signed. They're not signed. Or I thought they were signed. I have signed postcards by them. That's what I got. Okay, never mind. This one's a chunker of a one. This one's The Devil's Hairball by Peter Caffrey. When Victor Holy Cross commits an act of heinous sacrilege at a at the festival of the blessed virgin he unwittingly brings forth a curse that transforms his wife and daughter into living hairballs to seek absolution and lift the hairy plague a penance is given the recovery of stolen religious relics with a time frame of 40 days and 40 nights and a bicycle as his sole form of transport Victor finds himself helped and often hindered by a one-legged whore, a talking dog with a strange sexual pro proglyph proglyphities, proglyphities, I, wow, I can't say that word, and an attack nun. 
thrust into the maelstrom of demonic confrontations, unholy alliances, and duplicate, duplicitous relationships, he soon discovers that the world is a darker place than he anticipated. Yep. And I don't think this one's signed, so... I don't think any of them are signed, so yeah. My bad. This next one's called Dog Food. It's another one by Peter Caffrey. Actually, all these books are by Peter Caffrey. David Miller hates coming home from the holidays. The return journey is always stressful, but without the reward of a vacation at the end. When his break in the Algrave ends, the journey home is plagued by his miserable wife and squealing children, and the irritations of budget airlines push him on the edge, or to the edge. But once the plane lands, things get darker when he meets a, the bald man. Dog food is an absurdist tale of one man's descent into the abyss. So yeah. Next is the last one. Uh, this one's The Butcher's Other Daughter. Meet Mayhem and Murder. Uh, Jock, or, J J J Jock Dupont is a pork butcher in the small town of St. Marie sur Arege. Arege? I don't know how to say that. On the surface, he is an unremarkable man, but Jock, 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 blah, 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 I can't say his name, has a secret. A previous life he is desperate to ensure remains forgotten. When his two worlds collide, the outcome is cataclysmic, <laughs> throwing his life into a male storm of violence which threatens to overwhelm everything he holds dear. The Butcher's Other Daughter is a tale of meat mayhem and murder. So, bam. And that is the books that I got. Quite a few of them. I thought they were signed, but they're not. But I did get two signed postcards, so that's cool. Um, so, yeah. I'm currently watching football, but I'm not really into it. It's not my team, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Lions didn't make the playoffs, so I'm a little bummed, but it is what it is. Um, I'm watching the Vikings versus Giants after watching the Bills versus Miami, or uh, Bills versus Dolphins. So now I'm watching Vikings versus Giants, and it looks like Jefferson just scored a touchdown, so that sucks. I'm rooting for the Giants, so... Yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Deuces!